inventory dashboard inventory dashboard is essentially a page where all of the data which needs your attention is present in the visualized form so as soon as you reach inventory in any of your owners dashboard outlets inventory dashboard is the first page that opens up let us see all these section one by one and understand how is it useful to us i first put in the dates so that the work becomes easier okay so as you can see here the first box is for the key statistics these are the key statistics which will provide you the relevant insight to your revenue which is incoming and outgoing expenses so the total purchase is done by you in the last month would be 89000 rupees and the wastage in the last month was 1200 rupees which seems like an ideal amount in comparison to the purchase made then comes cogs which is cost of goods sold so this consumption cost of the raw materials is on the basis of average price for the last 30 days which means that the stock consumed last month in your operations is of this much rupees now the rate which is used for all the raw materials is by the moving average method of 30 days then the third section is for getting a demo of paid puja inventory so in case you want to train someone or you want to understand the entire know how of the system and register for a live demo if not you can go to the links mentioned in the description and learn the entire paid puja inventory why are youtube channel of paid puja tutorials then comes pending purchases all the purchase orders which are approved and the request for purchases which are approved but not yet registered in purchase will be displayed here so all the goods that are in transit of those purchases will be seen here then comes pending po approvals in case you have set up an approval authority inside a software which is enabled by the inventory approval flow all the requests for purchases which need your particular approval will be visible here you can click on view here and then go to approving those requests here this is the visualization for new purchases done so all the purchases done along with the suppliers will be displayed in comparison to the quantities of purchases made simultaneously so the biggest purchases done by me is of poha and basmati rice from the supplier abc vegetables and saurabh private limited all the other raw materials displayed are the raw materials which are in very minute or smaller quantities and in the center is the amount for total purchases made by me in the last 15 days now we reach to stock level if in case the raw material that you have will only last for few days our ml models will predict that for you on the basis of your past consumption so let us say i have tomatoes 10 kg in my stock but 10 kg tomatoes are only enough for two two days in my operations because my past history says so so the system will tell me here that you have tomatoes left only for two days kindly reorder them PO rates whenever a raw material becomes low stock or hits the minimum stock level our system will auto generate the purchase orders for you if you'd like to convert them into purchase orders or approve them you can just click here and generate a purchase order with all those raw materials which are already low in quantity from your respected supplier and just click here on the quantity the price and save changes this simple you can ease down your process of purchasing and knowing what all is not in the stock very easily with pores module then comes the raw materials here you can see a donut chart which will essentially show you the category of raw materials in stock with you so right now we have four big chunks here and the four categories are of others the grocery the dairy and the vegetables so my inventory is majorly stocked with these four categories and the smaller color section you see here are responsible for different categories dry fruits 
food etc now if any wastage was done in a particular period it will be shown in this form now these wastages are totaled and tallied with the total consumption taken place which means if 100 kilograms of stock was consumed then in comparison to that 3.52 percentage wastage was recorded in my outlet so this helps you to analyze whether the consumption or the wastage which is done is in the boundaries or not if it is not in the set boundaries or if it exceeds the mental boundaries that we have then we can set up an inquiry and see where all the leakages took place the total amount of wastage in the last month was of 1231 rupees this current stock price essentially displays the current total value of the stock that you have in your inventory and along with that it will show you in this format that what particular raw material you have in comparison to the block sizes so the largest amount of raw material i have in the form of amount is of amul cheese cube then comes basmati rice then comes poha then comes tea and so on now we reach the last section which is consumption comparison we have a report where you can compare consumption from the basis of day trade list consumption is essentially all the dishes which are served at the outlet level and the stock used for the same so you can find that visualization here in raw material terms and in category terms you can select these categories from here as this is a demo account and we have no consumptions taken place this is empty but in your case it will be full with data visualizations these are the shortcut to the menu items present here on the left hand side you can use this shortcut to reach the particular feature or module so this was all about inventory dashboard and this is our effort to make the owner or senior manager's life easier by just reaching one section to know the entire operations Thank you.